Hello, I'm Morris Dimba, and uh, today we will be moving to uh, cutting details for the 305 by 102 universal beam, but castellated beam. Let's get started right away, and I'll come to applications and component here, and on th that button I'll click on that and be able to access access the applications and, and component uh, uh, column. Now, in here you can type. The type of macro any name of the macro you want uh, you know, only if it is installed in your tecla structures now I, I, i'm looking for the castellated beam macro so this is the one i want to use so i'll double click on that so i'll define the position you can see here the pick the position so i'll pick that position and uh, i want two positions here to, de to define the full length of my castellated beam so i'll uh, terminate it i'll terminate it right there and right click and click interrupt just to get off that command and remember the the length of this beam is 12 meters now this is the beam that i want to manipulate to fit in to uh, manipulate to fit in with fit in between my uh, uh, development and cutting details for the castellated beam i want to i uh, come up with so this is what we have uh, as a default it's picking exactly the previous setting that we used uh, uh, before now in this case we are going to use the 305 and 10102 uh, 0 to means the the flange width so we'll start off with the flange width here we'll feed 102 and uh, the full stretch of or the full height of our castellated beam will remain uh, uh, 458 and from this distance to, to, to this distance will change a slightly bit uh, will change slightly and uh, will feed here this one will be 76 and this one will be 76 and this one 50 uh, I mean will remain the same it will not change anything only the, uh, some uh, the thing uh, part with that will change is only uh, the flange width so what we'll do everything will remain the same but the flange width will change and the height will remain the same the 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 development and cutting details will remain the same so what we'll do we'll just go ahead and click modify and uh, the settings will be picked and prior to that we'll have to check whether the, the, the settings have been picked if it doesn't pick means this model is not connected to this dialog box so I'll go ahead and apply apply and give an okay so if I double click here if I click here and right click and click redraw and double click on it once again I'll be able to see the previous settings which means there was no connection between these two the, the model and, uh, and this dialog box so I'll just feed here because in this case whatever is changing in this particular uh, detail is 102 which is the width of our flinch and so the height will remain the same and this one will, will remain the same so I'll get go ahead and click modify and click apply and accept that so we'll have this in place I'll, uh, I'll redraw that by clicking by, by clicking on the empty screen empty screen then right click to access the redraw command so I'll just confirm the height of our beam I'll come to edit and come to measure and I want to measure from that and the top end and to the bottom end just confirm it is 5 or it is uh, 458 and that's it so we'll, we'll do exactly the same thing we've been doing in every step we do we'll cut this across to make to create two points or two components that will be welded together to form a castellated beam now I'll come to at any position and I'll snap on at, at that corner and move all the way down there then uh, pick hit that spot right click and come to copy and snap on that spot and zoom out and go all the way to this end I'll snap right here now I want to cut this member along the center using the polygon tool then I'll uh, select the part to be cut then I'll snap on that spot and move to the center here and move all the way to the other to the other center here and snap right here come all the way to the bottom end here and snap right there move out and come all the way to this end to this far end and snap right here 
we've cut we've removed that section out then we'll re redraw and make sure you save that step because we will not be going back anymore i'll select on that member come to special copy here and select linear we want to move this member we, we want to copy another member up on the z-axis at a distance of a meter we'll click ok and that's it we'll redraw and you can see this so i'll, I'll select on that and uh, i'll change my I'll, i will reorient my xyz plane i'll come to our plane tool and place my work plane tool there and uh, once i've selected that I right click once again and come to special copy then pick rotate and i want to rotate this along these two lines these two points to create a line this is the rotation line so i'll go ahead and click move and it will be moved or rotated along that line so i'll right click and redraw then pick on this and move it down and connect it with the, with the previous component uh, and this will be joined with that and the line you see at the center that will be the welding line this will be welded along that line so i'll be able to copy this once again i need another copy of this select on that then i want to copy it uh, along the z-axis in my direction I click on that and redraw and this is what we have at this time so we can give a different color double click and uh, click on that give a different uh, class of color and you can pick blue right there I apply and accept and give that so it is not picking that color it is not picking that color double click on that will come to that color and uh, we'll pick that blue modify apply and accept and do the same here so we'll zoom this close and that is what we have so this will be welded these two component components will be welded uh, will be welded along that line to create or to form a castellated beam of 305 by 102 and this can be applied at the fabrication stage and the erection stage thanks a lot for watching this video and let me just double click here and bring this and this is what we have here so if you intend to use these uh, details please just feel free and retrieve these details every time you want on this channel and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new to this channel and let's meet then bye bye this is Mods Dimba.